Tienes que andar con tu cartera, pues tuya. ¿Por qué? No sé si te voy a ir ahora. Sí, pues no siempre voy a andar con tu cartera. I only have a few days left on my trip to the Dominican Republic before I have to go back home. We still haven't found an apartment, which is really stressing me out. But today we're kind of taking a break. And we're meeting up with my friend Sophie, who's from New York. She happens to be visiting the Dominican Republic this week. Ah, hey, hey, hey. Hola. Hola. Vamos. Hola, mucho gusto. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Yo, un placer. Wow, tú sí eres grande, muchacho. <laughs> Oh, so happy to see you. You too. How was your trip been? Rough, but we're here. ¿Entiendes un poquito de inglés? No. Tú traduces a los dos. Ah, qué bien. ¿Qué tiempo tienen conociendo? A Daniel, yo creo que cinco años. Ella fue mi instructora de yoga. Perfecto. Ya sé. Sophie has shared in the past that she was concerned about my ability to live in the Dominican Republic and that Johan's using me for a visa or using me for money. Have you ever heard the term Sanky Panky? Sanky Panky is a man who works at an, a resort and is looking for tourists to come and, you know, provide them with money. That's a huge leap of faith, Daniel. Yeah. Are you ready? I don't know. ¿Cómo te sientes um, si estás listo para que Daniel es, esté aquí contigo todo el tiempo ahora? Esa fue una de las razones por la que nos casamos, para vivir juntos. I had to meet Johan because Daniel has been through a lot. And he, I think she's very trusting and she wants to see the best in people in every single scenario. So I have some questions about his intentions to see and like make sure that he is everything that she's manifested and that he will take care of her. Ella te habló de mí. Un poquito, ha tenido mucho secreto. ¿Qué ella te dijo? Bueno, yo cuando vi tu foto, ella lo puso, publicó, yo dije, wow. <laughs> <laughs> y ese hombrón. Y entonces yo le dije a ella, pero muchacha, tú sacaste ese hombre de la nada. Porque tú eres todo lo que ella pidió. ¿Y tu familia tienes hijos? Yo tengo dos hijos. Dos mi hijos. hijo tiene 26 años y mi hija tiene 22. ¿Qué edad tú tienes? Porque tú te ves jovencito. 32. ¿Tus padres no te piden nietos? Claro, yo quiero nietos. He's saying that they want grandchildren from him. Yeah, working on that. Entonces, ¿conoces la edad de ella? 42. ¿Qué pasaría si ella no puede darte un hijo? Porque somos mujeres de cierta edad. Las cosas se complican. I really want to have a family with Johan, but we've been trying to get pregnant since we got engaged a year ago, and we haven't been successful. We visited a fertility specialist, and they said that the chance of me getting pregnant naturally was 5%, but Johan thinks that we have much better chances. ¿Estarías bien no tener un hijo? No me sentiría bien, pero... No sé, hay algo dentro de mí que dice como que sí, que sí se puede. Y si Dios te no bendice y sale natural, mejor. He's basically saying that there's a voice inside of him that says that you will be able to, and God blesses you with a miracle. My fear is at my age, I could get pregnant, but I, there's a good chance I'm gonna lose a couple. Of, like that, that happens pretty often. And I think that I don't know that I can handle that. That's what I'm really worried about. So like, I almost would rather plan to use science rather than go through that process. Like, last month, I thought I was pregnant, and I was, like, so excited, Aww. and I, like, felt it in my body. And, like, when I got my period, I was so upset. Like, I'm gonna get upset right now thinking about it. I was so upset, I'm like, oh, I can't do this every month. There's no way. So... All of the weight of, like, childbearing is on me. 
and to have to do that month after month is really nerve-wracking. I feel like that stress alone is going to my cycle and make it harder for me to get pregnant. So I don't think he realizes like how much pressure that is on me, especially because I'm not young. ¿Tú tienes hijos? No. Que sepas o sabes que no. No tengo. Pregunto, sabes. No, Porque a veces no se sabe. Claro, pero estoy seguro. Ah. Y eso ha sido por qué. Se ha dado el caso, pero mi pareja han quedado embarazada y no se han dado. So he's saying that women have gotten pregnant but they haven't been able to sustain the baby. A propósito. And that some have aborted the babies on purpose. Wow, that's the first time I'm hearing that. Like, he's told me that, that his partners have lost children. He's never told me that. That's, this is, like, so difficult. I 100% believe in a woman's right to choose. I think that we have to make decisions about our own body. But this is the first time I'm hearing this story. He had told me that she lost the baby and had a miscarriage. Like, why would you lie about something like that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why do you not say that before? I'm not upset about the abortion. I'm upset that Johan hasn't been honest with me and my full faith in this relationship is about my faith in him and his honesty. And if I lose that, then what do we have? Trust is so important to me, and I've had it violated so much in the past that I have to work hard to be able to trust someone. But now that I know that Johan has been dishonest about this one thing, I just have this tape running in my mind of all the things that he's told me and wondering how much of them are not true. I, I'm not sure what kind of relationship you want, but this is not the kind of relationship that I want. You can stare at me all day. Yo no sé qué ya dijo. Yo te conté todo de esa muchacha. Ahora tú dices, yo, tú no dices nada, que yo no sé nada. Y yo sí te dije. I can't do this in Spanish, because what I need to say is too important. You did not say that they terminated the pregnancy. Those are two different things. Neither of them make me upset or angry with you. What makes me angry with you is the fact that you lied about it. You said that she lost a child. That is different than you telling my friend that she terminated a child. Those are different things. And when I ask you about it, you flip out like I've done something wrong. Lo que le molesta es que ella siente que, que tú hiciste mentiras. ¿Qué mentira? ¿Qué mentira? ¿Dónde está la mentira? Yo no entiendo. O lo sacó, lo perdió, es lo mismo. It's a different story to me. He's not taking ownership of the fact that he has been dishonest. So I'm really upset about that. It feels like I'm dealing with a child. When he gets to a place where he's defensive, it's like the conversation goes nowhere. Tú dices, yo no te dije. No. Ah, se lo dije a otra Daniela, no sé a quién. Tú, tú dices una mujer. No, no, yo le dije todo eso a otra Daniela. When no I, sé cuando yo hablo, tú cállate la boca. Tú entiendes. Cuando tú hablas, yo cállate, ¿sí? Ella me dice que yo nunca le digo la cosa. Me da gana eh, de mandar la relación para el diablo. Cuando yo le digo algo, ella no, no, me, no me hace caso, no lo creen. Mando toda la p y ya, y se acabó, y punto. No tengo confianza en eso. 
Si ustedes no confían en mí, es un problema suyo. I feel like if my husband sees me crying and he is like a brick wall and doesn't clearly feel any sympathy for me, it makes me really nervous that this is the kind of support I'm going to receive from my husband long term. Johan knows how important trust and honesty is to me. And he knows how emotional I am around the idea of whether or not I can have a child. So why is he so unwilling to have some sympathy for me? Yo soy un hablador, soy deshonesto, soy mentiroso, soy todo eso. Ahora, ¿qué tú quieres hacer con la relación? Tú no quieres estar con una gente así, ¿no? ¿verdad? I want you to be a different person. ¿Qué tú quieres hacer con la relación ahora? I just answered you. I want you to be a different person. Yo nunca te digo nada. ¿Qué tú quieres con this una is who you, Is that what you're saying? That you're no, saying dime. this is who you are? You're sí, saying this is who you are? Te estoy preguntando, ¿qué quieres hacer con la relación? You're a toxic human. ¿Eh? You are a toxic human. Soy tóxico. Sí. ¿Por qué te casaste conmigo? Because this isn't who you were. Si tú no me crees, dejemos esto entonces. If I have a problem with something that you do, I need you to engage in a conversation. It can't be like, okay, I'm a liar, then leave me. Like, that's just, that's childish, it's high school I don't really know what to say to this, so I guess I'm going back to the hotel. I don't know what the way forward is from here. Like, I don't know if I go back to the hotel, if he'll just disappear and be like, okay, this marriage is over. Like, I don't even know what goes on inside his head sometimes. I really want a child, and I really wanted it with him because of who I believed he was. And it's like, if that's not actually who he is, then what am I fighting for?